Once upon a time, there was a man who went from town to town with songs and poetry, capturing the souls of children. From generation to generation, the story passed. But every tale has its true, bitter beginning. Everyone, it's Robotic Zombie. Welcome to Fairy Tale Mysteries: The Puppet Thief. Now, as you saw from that intro, that there's a guy that went around telling stories, but while he was telling these stories, he learned to kidnap children. So, from that headline, we are Grim Brothers Detective. If you're not familiar with the Brothers Grim, you should definitely look up their stories. Fun fact: uh, quite a few of your favorite Disney stories were originally uh, Grim Fairy Tales. Fairy tales not originated by the Grimm brothers, but they were written down by the Grimm brothers because they were originally just passed down orally. And so the Grimm brothers wrote them down, and thanks to them, we now have those stories. But anyway, on to the game. So, yes, I would like to try to help. Your cursor will change to a magnifying glass when you can zoom in on an area. Oh, the box! Literal box in the game. When your cards change to a hand, an item may be picked up. Okay, the rope. Okay. Now let's take a closer look at these crates. Can we take a closer look at the angry mob? <laughs> okay. Now click the rope in your inventory and then click the hook that's wedged in the barrel. Ah, grappling hook. There we go. You get stuck along the way, you can click the hit button once it's fully charged. Okay. Someone is sparkling over there. Oh, here. I fear the brothers will not give you the post. The mob is in an uproar. They'll tear this town apart. Many children are missing. Be careful, they are not welcoming. Any strange face or unwillingness to join them may fan the flames of their rage. Listen, I must fetch my daughter. Find us at the magic shop. We will meet you there. Okay. So it looks like we work for the Brothers Grimm. Okay. That is an angry mob. But it looks like we have to go to them. This is where we make our stand! No more fear of the dark! Wherever we shine our torches, we will smoke this beast out! They say he hides behind a curtain! He cannot hide from us! <laughs> we will destroy him! No mercy! We will have justice! Sorry, I couldn't help but laugh at his voice animation. It's <laughs> it looked like he was mumbling when he was actually yelling. Okay. We got to go next. Oh. It's a little store. Is this the magic shop? Looks like the magic shop. We need to open this glass door to reach the key. What? Ah, here we go. Hidden objects section. Yeah, this is a hidden objects game. <laughs> that is, um, my trend, I should say. Or, I just li I just really like hidden object games. Okay, find all the objects and let's blue. Okay. There's a guy. It's in the light. Okay, we have a magic wand. Okay. Look in here. Nope. 
Oh, did you guys hear that sound it makes when you do something wrong? <laughs> Sounds like a little duck. Let's see. Oh, so the sparkler up there. Can't reach it. Can we use the chair to reach it? There's a journal. Ah, Grim Brothers Examiner's Institute. The president and trustees of the Examiner's Institute. Jacob, Jacob Grimm. Can't read that first name, but that's another Grimm. The degree of examiner year 1818. Okay. So, we are for realsies. Okay, so can't reach that. I'm going to go back outside to do something. What is that? Whoa! TBG Magicram. We trust that you have all you have arrived safely. Being an examiner is an arduous vocation. The real world is where the monsters are. Your first assignment is no easy task. Seek out our dear friend who calls himself the Silver Magician. There is a grander mystery here than even we can imagine. We will reach out to you when we can through the we will reach out to you when we can, when we can, through the veil of magic. There are other examiners who also need our assistance. We wish you luck, Brothers Grimm. Okay. Grimm Brothers Examiner's Handbook, 1802. To all young examiners, remember to look for truths everywhere. Never t turn a blind eye to the impossible. The inconceivable only demonstrates that the world you thought you lived in and the one that exists are two entirely different places. A successful, successful examiner embraces this. Okay. So, something else added to our journal. We got our degree, and we have a message from the Brothers Grimm. So this is already starting off like the show Grimm, except I don't think we'll be encountering people who turn into different creatures. But you never know. You never know. I'm actually hoping to see that. Let's see, is there anything else out here that we can do? The mob. I said that so casually. There's the mob. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's all we have is the... Here. Oh, but we can probably use the grappling hook. There we go. Whoa. Okay. That was a pretty looking thing. Can't figure out how to open it. Can we use the wand? Yes! A magic chest. We have a scale. Oh! Yes! What was that? <laughs> okay. What's outside? Oh, whoa! They blew up the cart! You vandals! Okay, but now we have a ladder. This fire may be useful. Can we use the scale with it? No. Okay. So. New entry. Okay. I always do that in games when I have a journal to make sure I don't miss anything. I go back. Let's see. The mob is like an arrow without direction, striking wherever they cast their gaze. Grandmother's Examiner's Handbook 1802. Ladders, considered by most to be unlucky, though they are useful. Should you be forced to walk beneath one, cross your fingers and remain perfectly silent to avoid potential pitfalls if they are magically charged. That's interesting. Okay. So, we still have a key that's in here. Can't figure out how to open it. Okay. I don't see anything else I can do. Oh! Now the mob is gone, we can go to another area. Oh. I can't jump across this gap. I need to make a bridge. 
Oh. It looks like gas. There's a pool of kerosene. We could probably use that fire. Okay. Let me see. Anything in the... Oh. These boards are all old and weathered. Probably make a bridge out of the boards, but don't know how to do that yet. Okay. Can we cross the ladder? Yes, we can! We can use the ladder as a bridge. So, let's go here. Hello. You should not be here. Oh. Okay, why? And he's gone. There is Now there probably is something there. Moon key. That's a star. Need something to pry these bars apart. Okay, we're not gonna do that with a key. At the same place? Yeah, it's the same place. Yeah. It's locked. Yep. Let the guy scream, you should not be here! Oh, but there's a new entry. Okay, there we go. An odd man blocked my path by locking the gate to the town square. He must be connected to the missing children. I am on the right trail. Finding these beastly creatures will require sleuthing your way through the underbelly of magic, but it is the source of a, creator, of a creature's power that must always be your principal objective. Without this knowledge, you cannot destroy them. Okay, so this person probably wasn't human. Okay. What can we do with the yeah, moon key? So, so. You need to grab that fire somehow. We have magic, but I don't know how to grab the fire. Whoa! Ah, oh, dude! You startled me! I have not found my daughter. No one knows how many children are missing. And the mob is making things worse. I fear she may be with the crowd outside. I will find her. Please, use whatever you find among my things. May they serve you well. Thanks, dude. Okay, there's a photo. Another hidden object soon. <laughs> Okay. This mystery is like that of the Pied Piper tales, but with a twist. Either the evil Piper has returned, or there are more like him. Instead of simply using a flute to bind their souls, he seems to be using some sort of puppet theater. The silver magician is inconsolable, and appears his daughter is missing too. Okay, so that was a silver magician. Puppets. A very dark and old form of magic. Shaped in the image of another, dolls or puppets can be used to manipulate and control others. The magic can only be undone by destroying their source of power. Destroying the pieces will not negate the spell once it has been activated. Okay. So we have Creep Dude, and unfortunately we have a missing child, which is the daughter of the Silver Magician. But, that is where we'll leave off. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll get back to this very soon because already it is very interesting. I'll see you later. Bye.